on the subject of Warriors, they just punished Draymond Green. No suspension, but they gave him a fine. I said punished. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people on social media were kind of up in arms about this. Oh, Draymond punched a teammate. He should have gotten a bigger fine or suspension or whatever it may be. Do you think that the Warriors handled this situation well with Draymond? OG, I know on your TikTok you talked about it, how it, it bugs you that the footage got leaked in the first place. So what do you feel about this punishment that the Warriors gave to Draymond? I think that I commend the Warriors for not buckling under the pressure of the public to do something rash. Don't get me wrong. The footage makes this thing look way worse, way worse. And it suggests to me that Draymond has something going on because when I look at what was going on in practice and I, when I watch Jordan Poole, you guys know Jordan Poole talks a lot. Yeah. Been so like I that. think that I think that him and Draymond have gotten into it like that way more times in practice. And I think that whatever was said, I'm sure that there were other things that were said in the past and it never came to that, never came to that. So there's a reason why things stay in house and I'm not buying the logic that, well, they leaked this video so they can lower Draymond's value. Well, Draymond's only on the books for two more years. So we got two choices. We can either let his contract run out or we can move him. Well, Draymond doesn't really have much value on a trade market, so we could just let his contract run out. This doesn't benefit the Warriors to leak this, right? If this thing could have just stayed in-house, and they're going to be away from Draymond in the next two years in terms of his contract. Now they're going to make a decision on what they want to do with him in the next two years. However, I don't hate it. I just hate the fact that 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 it got out. That's the thing that bothers me the most. Um. <clears throat> In terms of the contract thing, you said it. Um, the, the Warriors have come out and they've they talked. They're very, 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 very quickly trying to get that Jordan Poole extension done. So that's their n- number one priority. Draymond mm-hmm. Green, he's 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 admitted it. They're not going to get a contract done no time soon. And you mentioned it. He has two years left on his book. I think the last year is a player option, if I'm not mistaken. Which, it is. Which he's not leaving none of that money on he's the table. Not, he's he's, he's gonna, knows he's, he's not. Draymond's a smart guy. He knows mm-hmm. it, he knows at that point there probably won't be a bigger market. So he's not going to leave that money on the table. So realistically, right. he'll be on the Warriors for the next two seasons. So, yeah. like you said, the footage got leaked. I don't think Golden State Warriors, I'm in the same boat with you. I don't think they leaked it. It just didn't make sense. But I do think at the same time, getting punched like that, I mean, like we've seen we've seen Draymond get suspended for like a game with the Kevin Durant situation. Right. So we've seen Bobby Portis knock out his teammate and he got suspended eight games for for defending himself, he says. So we didn't even see it, by yeah, the way. We, we didn't that see the footage. We just, we just know Miritic was in the hospital, his nose was all broken up. Apparently Bobby Portis hits really hard. Um this situation is a little different because the, the footage got leaked and Golden State made it very clear from the jump. They're not suspending Draymond. So they are very much about winning games. This yep. seems like a thing that, like you said, happens a lot in practice or not, maybe not mm-hmm. a lot, but this happens enough where now we're not suspending him. we we'll just probably fine him. We want to yep. win games. This doesn't, imp- it's just more about the impact. I, I think People are getting over exaggerated. And people are just thinking, "Oh, Golden State gets off with the leeway. They always get off the hook. They get favoritized." Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's their organization that you can handle it the way you want to handle it. So I think, pretty much, Draymond internally, I'd be fucked up because that's like me hitting Joel or hitting Drew. Right. I would never do that in my life. If you my brother, I wouldn't see myself hitting you. So I think this more affects him in home as opposed to the outside media. Like the fine is whatever. That's not much to him. Out, him getting suspended, that wasn't really going to hurt him. It's his relationship with Jordan Poole. I think that's what hurts right. the most. I think as much as they can say that this is fixed, as much as they can say that, oh, they're in great terms, you go always going to look at somebody differently if they punch right. you in your face or if they knock you out like that. It's no matter the situation. So I think that's more broken than anything else. And I think people are just looking at other things as opposed to that situation. There's a brand new fantasy app. It's called Boom Fantasy. You got over-unders, player props. You got matchups. This player versus that player that's personally... My favorite and long shots. You can win 40 times your money. And if I'm not mistaken, Joel, NBA is coming soon. Yes, sir. NBA will be in the app in the next 10 days or so. You know, I believe opening night is October 19th. So we'll have stuff up a few days beforehand. Uh, That's going to be fun because we have it every night. You don't have to wait till Monday, Thursday. Did you get your code? 
for the league pass? I did get my code I for the league pass. I got my code too. Yep, that's amazing. That's from 2K, right? Yes. That's yes. tough. That's, amazing. that's fire. So if you guys haven't already, <laughs> download the Boom Fantasy app right now. Link is in our description or in the caption wherever you're watching. I think real quick, Joe, before yeah. you go any further, Joe, real quick. Now, you just mentioned this too, Riv. This thing, like you, Joe, and you oh, oh, with your crew, if it's not on tape and you guys get into it and it stays right there where you guys are sitting, mm. we can handle it. You've got into it with family members. You've said something to a family member and yeah. it's gotten ugly. But we can, if we could keep it right here, we can handle it. Can you imagine if we saw Jordan get punched in the face or Jordan punch Steve Kerr in the face? Can you imagine <laughs> if we saw Lajuan smack Vernon Maxwell? I mean, can you imagine if we saw Shaq punch Greg Ostertag in the face? Like, think about that sort of stuff. That 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 was going on, right? Yeah. Add that to the fact. Add that to the fact, Rib, and I'm not. I'm, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, Joe, but add that to the fact that. The Warriors came right out and told us immediately when this happened. This wasn't something that was kept under the rug. This yep. wasn't something that was kept to the side. When this happened on Wednesday, they told us about it. Not only did they tell us about it, they told us we are going to handle it. Mm -hmm. NBA, Adam Silver, relax. Don't worry about this. We got this under control, which was why I was so upset by this thing getting out because it wasn't necessary. I think that the Warriors wouldn't have given out that punishment if they had not talked to Draymond or Jordan Poole first. I do believe that if Jordan Poole was very bothered by what happened and yeah. it, it messed him up to the point mentally where he needed a, he needed to take a step back, <laughs> right. we wouldn't be seeing him play in the preseason like he's been playing. He's playing like everything's fine. Practice it all And out. the punishment would have been at least a suspension if Jordan Poole wasn't okay with it. But I feel like the Warriors, at least to this point, they are – the model organization, they have done mostly everything right. And I don't believe that they should, people be, should be hypercritical about the decision they make because mm -hmm. they have shown that they're a, they're a top tier organization in basketball. And sure. they wouldn't make a decision like this of giving Draymond just a fine, like people are trying to put it, if they didn't talk to every party involved in the situation and, and know what happened. I do think that Jordan Poole, although the dynamic may never be the same between Draymond and Jordan Poole, I mean, they right. might have they might have never been friends or close like that to begin with. They're just teammates. It might not be the same, but that doesn't mean that Jordan Poole has not forgiven Draymond and they have not moved past that. They probably have forget. talked, moved past that situation. And I think the Warriors have, did, have done their due diligence on this matter to the point where they feel this is a reasonable punishment for Draymond and, and what he did. I see a lot of people on Twitter trying to compare this to like an assault on the street or like things like that, but it, it's not, it's not anything close to that. I, I do think that the Warriors deserve leeway in how they handle situations based on how they handled stuff in the past. I'm going to say this. If you punch yep. me and it went live, People seen it. I'm never coming back to the show. That's just how I look at it. Like if you hit me, right. I, I'm never coming back. So it's, it's way different. Yeah, it, it, it's no. way different when it, it, what I equated to Lip Riv is you and me got into it in practice, uh -huh. and you and me got into it in practice, and you ended up swinging on me, and it was in practice, and it was it was right here, as opposed to you ended up swinging on me in the cafeteria in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that gets handled differently. Yeah. That's not the same thing. Yeah, that is not the same thing. And I think that. The misconception is is the idea of them just sweeping it under the rug. No, I'm not saying that. My point has been what the Warriors said right from the beginning. We are going to handle this. So let us handle it. This is not your problem. This is not your matter. Let us handle this. And Joe, please do not forget that this would not, we would not be having this conversation if the Warriors we're not in the NBA finals every year when Dre Clay and, and <laughs> Steph are healthy. We would not be having this conversation. Yeah. If this happened in I Orlando, nobody would care. <laughs> we could care less. Yeah. If, if, if Cole Anthony ended up punching Wagner in the face, we ain't talking about that. We not. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Shout out six men. <laughs> every single time the magic come up, got to yeah. shout out six men.